Hello everyone. Myself, Krishna Prasad S, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering, MIT Mysore. Welcome you all for the lecture session 2 on the module 3 IC Engine, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning System. So in the previous class, we have studied about what is mean by the heat engine, internal combustion engine, external combustion engine, classification of IC engine, parts of an IC engine as well as IC engine terminology. In today's class, we are discussing about the further part of the internal combustion engine chapter. It is called the working principle of four stroke petrol engine or a spark ignition engine and working principle of four stroke diesel engine or compression ignition engine and the difference between four stroke petrol and a diesel engine. Okay. So in the previous class, we studied about the details of the parts of an IC engine. The main parts of an IC engine, it is called as the cylinder, piston, piston rings, connecting rod, crank, crankshaft, inlet valve, exhaust valve. So we already know what is mean by the cylinder. Cylinder is the heart of the engine in which the fuel is going to burn and power is going to develop. And the piston is nothing but is a cylindrical shaped component which perfectly fits inside the engine cylinder in which it compresses the charge and power developed by the combustion of the fuel is transmitted from the piston to the crankshaft through the intermediate mechanisms like crank and the connecting rod and the piston rings are the metallic rings it is inserted into the circumferential grooves provided at the top end of the piston and there are two types of ring the one is called compression ring other it is called oil ring then the next one it is called what is mean by the connecting rod so connecting rod forms a link between the piston and the crankshaft that means here the main function of the connecting rod is to convert reciprocating motion of the piston into the rotary motion of the crankshaft and it is very important one it's called crank so crank forms the link between the connecting rod and the crankshaft and the two walls what we are used it is called as the inlet valve and the exhaust valve so inlet valve allow the fresh charge of air petrol mixture enters into the engine cylinder and exhaust valve allows the expel out of burnt gases from the engine cylinder into the atmosphere and very important one it is called as the igniter so igniter in case of the petrol engine it is called as the spark plug and igniter in case of the diesel engine it is called as the fuel injector so your spark plug is used to ignite the air fuel mixture present inside the engine cylinder and the flywheel it is a heavy wheel mounted on the crankshaft of the engine it stores the energy during the power stroke and supply the same energy during the other three strokes that is called as the flywheel then crankshaft it is drive the various other parts of the vehicle and the crankcase acts as a lower part of the engine and it serves as a sum for the lubricating oil so next very important one it is called as the four stroke petrol engine that means working of the four stroke petrol engine or spark ignition engine so in case of the petrol engine very important one it is called spark plug it is used as a injector so that means it will going to burn the air fuel mixture present inside the engine cylinder and power is going to develop so what is mean by the four stroke petrol engine why it is called four stroke petrol engine in case of the four stroke petrol engine your working cycle completed in four different strokes and two revolutions of the crankshaft that is very important I repeat so what is mean by the four stroke petrol engine in case of the four stroke petrol engine your working cycle completed in four different stroke and two revolutions of the crankshaft as well as four stroke petrol engine it is works on theoretical auto cycle and it is also known as constant volume heat addition cycle and what are the four different strokes of the four stroke petrol engine so first one it is called suction stroke and second one it is called compression stroke third one it is called power stroke and fourth one it is called exhaust stroke so and i already told your working cycle completed in four different stroke and two revolutions of the crankshaft so two revolutions of the crankshaft means here 0 to 720 degree okay so how the working is going to happen in case of the suction stroke later compression stroke then power stroke and last exhaust stroke we are going to see and what will be the variation of pressure and volume with respect to the four stroke petrol engine we need to see in the pressure and the volume diagram so in case of the examination generally we are going to ask how the working of four stroke petrol engine or spark ignition engine explain with the help of the pv diagram so that's why so working of the pv diagram it is also very much important so first stroke it is called it as the suction stroke what is mean by the suction stroke so what are the conditions of the suction stroke that is very much important in the suction stroke inlet valve is open and the exhaust valve is closed okay 
and here piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center. Here we are abbreviated as top dead center as TDC and the bottom dead center as BDC. Okay. So in the suction stroke inlet valve is open and exhaust valve is closed and the piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center. And here due to the downward moment of the piston a suction is going to create it inside the engine cylinder. Okay. Due to the downward moment of the piston a suction is going to create it inside the engine cylinder then the charge of air petrol mixture is enters into the engine cylinder through the inlet valve. When the piston is reaches the BDC position, observe here this is the starting point of the suction stroke and this is the ending point of the suction stroke. So when the piston reaches the BDC position then inlet valve is closed and the suction stroke is going to end. Okay. And here suction stroke it is represented by line AB on the PV diagram. Okay. So suction stroke it is represented by line AB on the PV diagram and during the suction stroke crankshaft rotates 0 to 180 degree that means one half of the revolution. Okay. So in the PV diagram here pressure is kept constant and volume is increases. So why volume is increased? Observe here during the suction stroke piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center hence the volume is going to increase. So increase in volume it is represented by line AB. But here inlet valve is open to the atmosphere hence the complete engine cylinder it is acts with the atmospheric pressure therefore pressure is constant during the suction stroke. Okay. So this is regarding to the suction stroke. Then what happens in case of the compression stroke. So in case of the compression stroke again observe the inlet valve and the exhaust valve in the so compression stroke inlet valve and the exhaust valves are completely closed and your piston moves from bottom dead center to the top dead center. So when the piston moves from bottom dead center to the top dead center crankshaft rotates another half of the revolution therefore the rotation of the crankshaft it is given in terms of 180 to 360 degree. Okay, due to the upward moment of the piston, the pressure and temperature of the air fuel mixture, the pressure and temperature of the air petrol mixture is going to increase. Okay, so due to the upward moment of the piston, pressure and temperature of the air fuel mixture is going to increase. And at the end of the compression stroke, okay, at the end of the compression stroke, so the figure 2 it is called as the starting of the compression stroke and figure 3 it is called as the ending of the compression stroke. Here at the end of the compression stroke the volume is remains constant for the small displacement. So that is called VC. So VC it is called nothing but clearance volume. So in the previous session I told what is mean by the clearance volume. So clearance volume it is nothing but it is the volume of the cylinder above the piston when the piston it is at TDC position. Okay. So at the end of the compression stroke the volume is remains constant for the small displacement. So this is regarding to the compression stroke. Here compression stroke it is represented by line BC and here the combustion at a constant volume it is represented by line CD on the PV diagram. Okay. Observe here during the upward moment of the piston the pressure and temperature of the air fuel mixture is going to increase and at the end of the compression stroke the volume is remains constant for the small displacement and the combustion of the fuel is going to take place at a constant volume. So that is why it is called as the theoretical auto cycle. So here compression stroke it is represented by line BC on the PV diagram and combustion at a constant volume it is represented by line CD on the PV diagram. So this is regarding to the compression stroke then we are moving on to the power stroke okay so what is mean by the power stroke so in the power stroke both inlet and exhaust valves are closed and very important one here yeah, the high pressure and high temperature of air fuel mixture catches the fire from the spark plug hence high amount of energy is liberated and this pushes the piston from top dead center to the bottom dead center i repeat here both inlet and exhaust valves are closed and 
high pressure and high temperature of air fuel mixture catches the fire from the spark plug hence high amount of energy is liberated and this pushes the piston from top dead center to the bottom dead center and during the stroke the crankshaft rotates further half of the rotation that is 360 to 540 degree when the piston reaches from top dead center to the bottom dead center so flywheel stores the energy during the power stroke okay so flywheel stores the energy during the power stroke and at the end of the power stroke i repeat here the power stroke it is the beginning of the power stroke and it is the end of the power stroke that is at the end of the power stroke the exhaust valve is open okay so at the end of the power stroke exhaust valve is open hence sudden drop in pressure is going to takes place okay so sudden drop in pressure how to represent here power stroke it is represented by line d and sudden drop in pressure it is represented by line eb okay so again observe here the pre sudden drop in pressure here pressure is going to decrease your volume is constant here only exhaust wall is open but the volume is does not going to change that's why it is represented by line eb then the last one it is called it as the exhaust stroke so what is mean by the exhaust stroke in the exhaust stroke inlet valve is closed but exhaust valve is open and here piston moves from bottom dead center to the top dead center due to the upward movement of the piston whatever the burnt gases present inside the engine cylinder like carbon monoxide carbon dioxide nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide these gases must be expelled out from the engine cylinder into the atmosphere through the exhaust valve so this is called as the exhaust stroke during the exhaust stroke crankshaft rotates further half of the rotation that is 540 to 720 degree so therefore the working cycle completed in two revolutions of the crankshaft and the four different stroke and here the exhaust stroke it is represented by line ba on the pv diagram okay this is regarding to the working of four stroke petrol engine or spark ignition engine okay i repeat once again so what is the working of the four stroke petrol engine or spark ignition engine so very simple here working cycle completed in four different strokes and two revolutions of the crankshaft and here four stroke petrol engine it operates on theoretical auto cycle and it is also known as constant volume heat addition cycle so in this action stroke inlet valve is open and exhaust valve is closed okay so and the piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center due to the downward movement of the piston suction is going to create inside the engine cylinder hence fresh charge of air petrol mixture is enters into the engine cylinder and during the suction stroke crankshaft rotates 0 to 180 degree and at the end of the suction stroke inlet valve is closed here suction stroke it is represented by line ab on the pv diagram next compression stroke during the compression stroke both inlet and exhaust valves are closed and piston moves from bottom dead center to the top dead center and crankshaft rotates 180 to 360 degree due to the upward movement of the piston the pressure and temperature of the air fuel mixture is going to increases okay then at the end of the compression stroke the volume is remains constant for the small displacement and so it is called as the constant volume heat addition cycle and here compression stroke it is represented by line bc and combustion at a constant volume it is represented by line cd then power stroke so in the power stroke both inlet and exhaust valves are closed and here piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center how the piston moves from top dead center to bottom dead center because whenever high pressure and high temperature of air fuel mixture catches the fire from the spark plug then high amount of energy is liberated that pushes the piston from tdc to bdc position okay and at the end of the power stroke exhaust valve is open hence sudden drop in pressure is going to takes place okay so here power stroke it is represented by line de and sudden drop in pressure is represented by line eb and at the end it is called exhaust stroke so exhaust stroke here inlet valve is closed and exhaust valve is open and here piston moves from bottom dead center to the top dead center and crankshaft rotate 540 to 720 degree so due to the upward movement of the piston whatever the burnt gases present inside the engine cylinder like carbon dioxide carbon monoxide nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide are expelled out through the exhaust valve into the atmosphere so this is regarding to the working of the four stroke petrol engine here ab represents the suction stroke 
BC represents the compression stroke, CD represents the combustion at a constant volume, and DE represents the power stroke, EB represents the sudden drop in pressure, and BA represents the exhaust stroke. The next topic, it is called four-stroke diesel engine. So, the working of the four-stroke diesel engine is almost similar to the four-stroke petrol engine. Okay, so here in case of the four-stroke diesel engine, your working cycle completed in four different strokes like suction stroke, compression stroke, power stroke and exhaust stroke and working cycle is also completed in two revolutions of the crankshaft. So two revolutions of the crankshaft means, so in order to perform the suction stroke to the exhaust stroke, crankshaft has to revolve two times. That means 0 to 720 degrees. That is very much important. Then in case of the four stroke diesel engine, instead of the spark plug, it is replaced with the fuel injector and the fuel injector, it is connected to the fuel pump in order to supply the diesel oil during the power stroke. So that is very much important in case of the four stroke diesel engine. So the working of the four stroke diesel engine, it is mainly depends upon the diesel cycle. So diesel cycle it is nothing but here combustion of the fuel is takes place at a constant pressure and it is works on the theoretical diesel cycle. Then main parts of the the four stroke diesel engine it is remains the same that is called cylinder is the heart of the engine. Then piston is perfectly fits inside the cylinder and it is reciprocates inside the engine cylinder and whatever the power developed due to the combustion of the fuel from the piston is transferred to the crankshaft through the intermediate mechanisms like crank and the connecting rod. Then here connecting rod, it forms a link between the piston and the crankshaft. It convert reciprocating motion of the piston into rotary motion of the crankshaft. Then crank is acts as a lever. It is connected to the connecting rod at the one end and crankshaft at the other end. Then crankcase, it acts as a lower part of the engine. It serves as a sum for the lubricating hole. So this is regarding to the, the main parts of the four stroke diesel engine. Then very first stroke in case of the four stroke diesel engine it is called it as the suction stroke. So what happens in case of the suction stroke that is very much important and what are the conditions we need to take during the four, uh, suction stroke of the four stroke diesel engine it is also very much important. So observe here during the suction stroke inlet valve is open and exhaust valve is closed and your piston moves from top dead center to the bottom dead center and due to the downward movement of the piston your crankshaft rotates 0 to 180 degree and also due to the downward movement of the piston a small suction is going to create it inside the engine cylinder hence only fresh air only fresh air is enters into the engine cylinder through the inlet valve okay and at the end of the suction stroke observe here so this is the starting point of the suction stroke and it is the ending point of the suction stroke at the end of the suction stroke here inlet valve is going to closed okay at the end of the suction stroke inlet valve is going to closed and crankshaft rotates 0 to 180 degree and here the suction stroke it is represented by line AB on the PV diagram. Here the suction stroke in case of the both petrol engine and diesel engine is almost the same. The only difference it is called here only fresh air is enters into the engine cylinder through the inlet valve. So that is very much important. So next one it is called what is mean by the compression stroke. Observe here what happens in case of the compression stroke. In case of the compression stroke both the inlet and exhaust valves are closed and here piston moves from bottom dead center to the top dead center. And due to the upward movement of the piston, your crankshaft rotates another half of the rotation. It is called 180 to 360 degree. Okay. Next, due to the upward movement of the piston, the pressure and temperature of the air is going to increases. Okay. Due to the upward movement of the piston, the pressure and temperature of the air is going to increases. And at the end of the compression stroke, so this is the beginning of the compression stroke, and this is the end of the compression stroke. At the end of the compression stroke, your pressure is remains constant for the small displacement. That means air combustion of the fuel is takes place at a constant pressure. So this is called it as the regarding to the compression stroke. Then here compression stroke it is represented by line BC and combustion at a constant pressure it is represented by line CD. Okay. Understand? So I repeat. So in case of the compression stroke, both the inlet and exhaust valves are closed and the piston moves from BDC to TDC, hence crankshaft rotate 180 to 360 degree. Okay. So due to the upward movement of the piston, pressure and temperature of the air is going to increases. And at the end of the compression stroke, 
here the pressure is remains constant for the small displacement that means here combustion of the fuel is going to take place at a constant pressure so that means here compression stroke it is represented by line bc and combustion at a constant pressure it is represented by line cd then third one it is called as the power stroke so what happens in case of the power stroke so in case of the power stroke also both the inlet and exhaust valves are closed okay so then high pressure and high temperature of air is going to burn when diesel oil is sprayed from the fuel injector i repeat the high pressure and high temperature of air is ignited when diesel is sprayed from the fuel injector so this produces the high amount of energy and this pushes the piston from tdc to bdc so when the piston moves from tdc to bdc crankshaft rotates 360 to 540 degree and here the flywheel is going to stores the energy during the power stroke and as well as at the end of the power stroke so this is the beginning of the power stroke and this is the ending of the power stroke at the end of the power stroke a exhaust valve is open and sudden drop in pressure is going to takes place okay so power stroke it is represented by line d and sudden drop in pressure it is represented by line eb so this is regarding to the power stroke then last one what happens in case of the exhaust stroke so in the exhaust stroke inlet valve is closed and the exhaust valve is open so and the piston moves from bottom dead center to the top dead center and due to the upward movement of the piston whatever the burnt gases present inside the engine cylinders like carbon monoxide carbon dioxide nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide should be expelled out into the atmosphere through the exhaust valve that's why exhaust valve is open okay so during this exhaust valve is entered to the atmosphere therefore here pressure is remains constant but the volume is going to decreases so decrease in volume is represented by line ba and pressure is constant is represented by line ab so this is regarding to the exhaust stroke okay so that means now your working cycle is completed in four different strokes like suction stroke compression stroke power stroke and exhaust stroke and the two revolutions of the crankshaft from 0 to 720 degree okay so i repeat so what is the working of the four stroke diesel engine here instead of the spark plug we have to replace with the fuel injector so first one it goes suction stroke in the suction stroke inlet valve is open and exhaust valve is closed okay so and the piston moves from tdc to bdc due to the downward movement of the piston a small suction is going to created inside the engine cylinder hence only a fresh air is enters into the engine cylinder through the inlet valve and at the end of the suction stroke here inlet valve is closed and suction stroke it is represented by line ab then power compression stroke so in the compression stroke both the inlet and exhaust valves are closed and your piston move from tdc to bdc and crankshaft rotates 180 to 360 degree okay so here due to the upward movement of the piston pressure and temperature of the air is going to increases and at the end of the compression at the end of the compression stroke here pressure is remains constant for the small displacement here compression stroke it is represented by line bc and combustion at a constant pressure is represented by line cd then power stroke so during the power stroke both inlet and exhaust valves are closed and at the beginning of the power stroke here high pressure and high temperature of air is ignited when diesel is sprayed from the fuel injector hence high amount of energy is liberated and this pushes the piston from tdc to bdc and flywheel is going to stores the energy during the power stroke then at the end of the power stroke your exhaust valve is open and sudden drop in pressure is going to take place here power stroke it is represented by line de and sudden drop in pressure is represented by line eb then last one exhaust stroke so in the exhaust stroke inlet valve is closed and exhaust valve is open and piston is moves from bdc to tdc position so due to the upward movement of the piston whatever burnt gases present inside the engine cylinder is expelled out through the exhaust so this is regarding to the working of the four stroke petrol engine as well as the four stroke diesel engine so next we are discussing about the the difference between the four stroke petrol engine as well as the four stroke diesel engine the last topic the today's session it is called the difference between the four stroke petrol engine as well as the four stroke diesel engine so we already studied the what is the working of the four stroke petrol engine as well as the diesel engine based on the description we are categorize some of the differences between the four stroke petrol engine and the diesel engine okay so some of the differences like 
So theoretical cycle. So the theoretical cycle of the four stroke petrol engine it is also called as the auto cycle. So what is mean by the auto cycle? Air combustion of the fuel is takes place at a constant volume then it is called as the auto cycle. Similarly in case of the four stroke diesel engine air combustion of the fuel takes place at a constant pressure then it is called as the diesel cycle. So this is the first difference that is called based on the thermodynamic cycle or theoretical cycle. Then second one it is called type of fuel used. So in case of the petrol engine the fuel used it is called as the petrol then that's why it is called as the petrol engine. So but in case of the diesel engine the fuel used it is called as the diesel then it is called as the diesel engine, four stroke diesel engine. So in the classification itself we told so based on the type of fuel used it is categorized into four types so it is called petrol engine, diesel engine, gasoline engine and bifuel engine. Then third one admission of the fuel. So when the fuel is going to admitted into the engine cylinder that is also very much important. In case of the four stroke petrol engine during the suction stroke itself the fresh charge of air petrol mixture is enters into the engine cylinder through the inlet valve. Okay, but what happens in case of the four stroke diesel engine? So in case of the four stroke diesel engine only fresh air is enters into the engine cylinder during the suction stroke through the inlet valve but diesel oil is sprayed from the fuel injector with the help of the fuel pump during the power stroke that is very much important in case of the four stroke diesel engine. Next fourth one the charge drawn during the suction stroke. So during the suction stroke in case of the four stroke petrol engine both air and the petrol mixtures are drawn in the cylinder through the, through the inlet valve in the suction stroke. But in case of the four stroke diesel engine only air, fresh air is drawn into the engine cylinder through the inlet valve during the suction stroke that is very much important then what is mean by the compression ratio so compression ratio we are already studied it is nothing but it is the total volume to the clearance volume so in case of the four stroke petrol engine the maximum compression ratio we can achieve in the clearance volume it is only 7 is to 1 to the 12 is to 1 okay that means here 7 it indicates the number percentage of air and 1 it is indicates the percentage of fuel but in case of the diesel engine here combustion of the fuel takes place at a constant pressure hence the compression ratio is going to increases that is from 16 is to 1 to the 20 is to 1 that is very much important during the four stroke diesel engine next one it is called ignition of the fuel so in case of the four stroke petrol engine here ignition of the fuel is takes place with the help of the spark plug that means here spark plug ignites the fresh air fuel mixture during the power stroke that's why four stroke petrol engine it is also called as the spark ignition engine or SI engine so next one in case of the four stroke diesel engine here very simple when hot compressed air is contact with the diesel oil sprayed from the fuel injector then combustion of the fuel is going to take place that's why air compressed air is very much important that's why four stroke diesel engine it's also called as the compression ignition engine next noise and the vibration in case of the four stroke petrol engine so noise and the vi vibration is very much less in case of the four stroke petrol engine because of the lower operating pressure because here compression ratio we can achieve only from 7 is to 1 to the 12 is to 1 but what about in case of the diesel engine here higher operating pressure is obtained therefore here the noise and vibration in case of the diesel engine vehicles are very much high compared to the four stroke petrol engine next one thermal efficiency so thermal efficiency of the four stroke petrol engine is less compared to the four stroke diesel engine because of the lower operating temperature uh, lower operating pressure and in case of the diesel engine it is comparatively high compared to the petrol engine because of higher operating pressure then power develop so power develop in case of the four stroke petrol engine it is very less compared to the four stroke diesel engine because of the lower operating pressure but in case of the four stroke diesel engine it is very high compared to the four stroke petrol engine because of higher operating pressure then uses the uses of the petrol engine in the vehicles like scooter and the motorcycle mopeds even in the car but the four stroke diesel engine it's normally uses in the bus truck and even the car can be obtained with the four stroke diesel engine and last one initial and the maintenance cost the initial and the maintenance cost of the four stroke diesel uh, petrol engine vehicles are very much less compared to the four stroke diesel engine vehicle because in case of the four stroke diesel engine vehicles operating pressure is very high and the lubrication is also very much important so because of that here the initial cost as well as the maintenance cost is very much higher in case of the four stroke diesel engine 
okay so some of the important points in case of the differences we need to observe first one it's called theoretical cycle that is called auto cycle and diesel cycle then fuel used it is very simple if it is petrol then it's called petrol engine if it is diesel then it is called diesel engine then admission of the fuel here during the suction stroke itself but here during the power stroke so then charge drawn during the suction stroke both air and petrol but here only air then compression ratio is very much important it is very less that is 7 is to 1 to 12 is to 1 but here 16 is to 1 to 20, 20 is to 1 then based on the ignition of the fuel so here petrol engines are called as the spark ignition engine compression ignition engine is called four stroke diesel engine then here so what are the uses the uses of the four stroke diesel engine vehicles like scooter and a motorcycle but four stroke diesel engine vehicles are truck and a bus then initial and maintenance cost less in the petrol engine and more in the diesel engine so these are the some of the major differences we can see in case of the four stroke petrol engine as well as in the diesel engine thank you